Hi, Art Seekers. We are here with Wordsmith, someone that I greatly admire, and thank you so much for talking to us today. I come from a family of writers, and something that they've talked about is that writing is really isolating. And what I think is cool about your practice, how you meld writing and street art, is that you're taking the writing, but you're introducing it to a wider community, and you probably interact more as a street artist using words than you would as a writer. Writing is, you know what I mean, isolated and it's a lot of alone time. You know, I never feel lonely, but uh, I, it's alone time, you know what I mean? And I don't know, you're spending time with these characters that you create, so it's this weird thing. Every writer sounds like a crazy person. But <laughs> having said all that, um, I did realize, like I had a really good year in 2013, but that meant I was spending a lot of time in front of the computer like I had a really creative year but I just realized that I need to get away from the computer at times I need this active hobby so that's that's how Wordsmith just at the seed of it at the heart of it was created um, um, in my mind and then and then out on the streets you know what I mean I just I wanted to do something different in another medium and and I started doing it for me um, and and I can honestly say I'd still be doing it for me because I love it so much even if I had 500 followers but the fact that it took off and it's resonating with people and it's become you know what it is and, and what it continues to be is just is just thrilling I do th three different types of words that's what I call them um, I do motivational or uh, inspirational and I do romantic and I do funny. I, I think I'm funny so um, so the three types that I do, they all come from me, you know what I mean? Whether it's something I thought of or just a way to express something um, or something I overheard or a conversation I had that morphed into an idea. Um, so I kind of take things from everywhere and, and I guess it's, it's all me kind of speaking to it, you know what I mean? I mean the romantic ones, I, I have a muse, you know what I mean? I have this, you know, I know this great girl that, that motivates me to kind of put these messages out and and I've had past relationships where I can speak to that too because a lot of the romantic ones aren't always, some of them are lost love, you know what I mean, of that nature. So, so I just kind of pull from every aspect in life, but it's me. And my audience is, I don't know, my audience is just a lot of different people and a lot of, what's the cliche, walks of life because um, the amazing thing about my um, ride or the time is wordsmith is that um, it's not just people that follow street art. It's not just people that collect art that are following me. It's it's gone beyond that. It's just the words are resonating with people, you know, all ages, all areas, just all walks of life, and and um, it's kind of cool to see that. Now, when you put up a work in Hollywood, are you thinking about who <clears throat> is living in Hollywood, the demographics of that community, or is it just more egalitarian than that? Um. A lot of the pieces I put up as far as locations, you know, there's some thought into it. So not, it's not only Hollywood, you know what I mean? It's it's wherever I think about in whatever city or whatever neighborhood I, I think about doing it. I also think what's around, you know, I go out of my way to photograph all my um, pieces um, as soon as I can, you know what I mean? Because there's always the fear that they're going to disappear. But that also goes into what you were saying in that photograph I take. You know, maybe there's something in the background or I can capture a person walking by that, you know, captures what the word is saying or even the time of day. You know what I mean? If it's something that's, you know, you know, inspirational, like, you know, get up and get to work, you know, it's fun to take that picture at sunrise, you know what I mean? To just kind of add to the moment, to add to the... So it's not just the piece, it's the actual whole photograph that then speaks to people. And talking about a more local audience, which work of yours is the most personally significant? Um, wow, that's a tough question. I mean, the one behind you, um, I, I wrote it a while ago, and when I wrote it, I really liked it. I had to Google to see if anybody had kind of said it, you know, that way, um, or just used those words. And, and when they didn't, I, I put it out there, and it had a really amazing response. And it's also, you know, part of the essence of, of what I do, or what I like to think that I do. It's that you know, everything I've said here today, it, it leads up to that in that, you know, I started doing this for me, but the fact that it resonated with others is an incredible thing. And I'd still be doing it if I had 500 followers. And so it's, you know, it's aspiring to inspire and, you know, the universe will take note. It's, it's, it's another way of saying it is do what you love and, you know, hope that it resonates with others or do it for yourself and hope that it resonates with others. And it's just that kind of attitude 
that that I think I point to that one as a as a motivational. Like it's kind of become a staple of mine, or or, or I don't know, a mantra. Is there anything that you are still really itching to say? Oh, I have a lot to say. Um, um, I think I'm just getting started. You know what I mean? But uh, are you saying in this interview or out on the streets? Oh, out on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I have a lot to say, like, uh, um, and I don't know that there's anything specifically, you know what I mean, other than, you know, just kind of really communicating to people that, that I don't know, you should just kind of, you know, chase your dreams, and, 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 and I think a big thing, and it's kind of buried in some words, you know, that I said, but such a major thing of what I do is just the notion of when you're older, you're never going to look back and say, I shouldn't have chased my dreams. I shouldn't have taken those chances. It's going to be quite the opposite. You're going to be like, you might be like, you know, why didn't I give it, you know, more time or why didn't I give it more effort? So I guess what I'm trying to always or trying to do, at least with the inspirational motivational, is to say, you know, just, just, just do as much as you can, you know what I mean? And don't half ass it. And, and I guess it's in the romantic thing too. It's like if, if there's somebody out there, you know what I mean. It's like go, go for, for it, it kind of thing. So, so I think that's the overriding message that I just want to say in different ways. You know what I mean? Because like we talked about, different different words, you know, affect different people. So I just kind of want to cover all the bases and try to reach the largest audience possible.